Welcome everyone to another episode of Around Akiba. We're here in Akihabara again. And what are we going to do today? We are actually going to visit various maid cafes and asking them for permission to film for one of our new videos. And yeah, as you might know, it's not allowed to film in a maid cafe, so we actually have to look for interesting maid cafes out in Akihabara, go in, ask for the manager, and get permission to film another day. So let's go and see what kind of interesting cafes we can find in, around Akihabara. Let's go. Sometimes you can find the most interesting maid cafes in the hidden shades of the back alleys of Akihabara. Let's see if we can find something. It's maid dreaming over there. But that's already very famous. Hmm, this street looks promising. What do you think, Matt? Alright, let's go. So what is this? Kyokujo no Iyashi. Which means you will lay your head on the girl's lap and get your ears cleaned by them. Sounds good, uh, but maybe another day. Maybe for another video. Oh, that looks promising. What is that? The Grand Pirate Cafe? That sounds cool. Down in the basement. Here we actually have a bunch of maid cafes. You can see there's the Princess Gate, the Princess Gate Maid Cafe. We have the Maid Dreaming, the Secret Base Store, and the Dobutsu Meido Animaru Cafe, which is maybe like a, an animal maid cafe. And then, if you go over here, there's even more. You have like a Queen Court Cafe, then you have Jeanne d'Arc Duel Maid Cafe. Oh, très bien. You have some sword fighting uh, going on in there, I guess, with those sword maid outfits. Then you have the Grand Pirates Akihabara Maid Cafe and Bar in the basement. This looks very promising. Harra, yeah. And we have the Grim Brothers made cafe maybe uh, it's about a fairy tale tea made cafe with uh, all you can drink for 900 yen that's that's quite uh, cheap and English and all you can drink menus available great all right and there's even more over there there's even more over there look there's a cafe bar with some gambling a casino bar with uh, bunny maids before I forget the most important thing when you go somewhere and ask for business, you need a business card case with your business cards. Then you can exchange your contacts and contact the store via email or telephone. Okay, let's go. So here we have Princess Gate, uh, also a maid cafe. They have this uh, hard door, it's like a, like a wall which blocks the view and there's a, a video of idols dancing. I don't, ma I don't know much if you really go in and ask. Okay. Let's go. All right, so we went to all of the maid cafes here in the shop. And yeah, what was the result? I mean, it was not too bad. The first place, the Grand Pirate place, they are run by a bigger company. So we need to go through their uh, direct contact on the website and ask them for allowance. Uh, this place on the sixth floor, they gave us a contact to contact them via mail address. And unfortunately, the Jean d'Arc Cafe it was still closed and there was nobody inside, so we'll have to come back a little bit later. And the Animal Cafe, same, we got the contact, uh, they got our contact, and we hope that we can get in touch and get an appointment to shoot there, hopefully. So let's see what other maid cafes we can find. Hey Arnie, do you think we will come back to those maid cafes? I'll be back. Man, what did you find here? Visit D Cafe Bar. It's Rabu Deji. That's like a Medo cafe. And then the Secret Society, Rosenkreuzer. What is that about? <laughs> yeah, here at around Akiba, we're going all, all the way out. I mean, just look at this place. It's a little bit scary. You don't know what's inside. We're still we're going in to the Secret Society and find out what it's all about. Damn. Oh. This is the secret society. Look at this, Matt. Oh, it does this look fancy. This is it looks so cool. Just look at the door. But it 
it's unfortunately it's closed. I think we have to come a little bit later. Before we went to the Princess Gate and now here we are, the Forest Gate. Probably the same branch, the same uh, company. You can see everything has a forest style to it. All this green here. I'm not sure what's going on inside though. Here we are at the Lillian Plain, the snowy fairyland. Ah, it looks like something out of Frozen. Um, quite good, uh, entrance fee 600 yen and one order every hour. You can even uh, charge your phone and have free Wi-Fi. Yeah, actually just on top of the Gashapon Kaikan, on the sixth floor, you have the Cure Maid Cafe. And this is a very interesting spot for maid cafe lovers because it's one of the very first maid cafes in Akihabara. So we definitely want to check out that at one point. And on the other side, just behind us, we have another maid dreaming store on the sixth floor. And we have uh, another Akihabara maid cafe fields. Yeah. This one I really like, you have um, a hookah shisha cafe. Uh, where you can have shisha with your favorite maids and the Ichiban Hanaseru Meido Cafe the maid cafe in which you can talk a lot with the maids that's the name of the maid cafe and the Primson Collection Maid Cafe there's just so many and over here look you have the Dracula Danjo Cafe with a Nomi Horai this is, these are girls dressed up as Ikemen guys as Dracula, Ikemen guys, I guess vampire guys. Very Ikemen, very handsome. Okay, it's over there, let's check it out. Make cafes are definitely great with the advertisements. So we have like an XXX, I have no idea what that is about. And then over there we have the Ichiban Kawaii Meido Cafe and Bar, which basically means the most cutest made cafe bar in Akihabara. Then here we have a mermaid team made cafe. It's very good for, um, being the first place, the first maid cafe you've ever been to. Konna hajimete. Shinkankaku Meido Cafe and Bar. So you can get a whole new first experience at this maid cafe over here. Here we have the Ichiban Hanaseru Cafe and Bar, which means this is the place where you can talk the most to the maids. But it's not just the maid, as we've shown you before, you have a Dracula, uh, the Alucard Maid Cafe. Very cool. And here we have a pink dragon maid cafe. Ah, this looks fancy, very cute. Mm, we definitely need to check those out, Matt, I think. <laughs> Man, we have even more ones. So here there's like a Meido Boshu advertisement. It basically, which means like we are looking for maids and it's for this one, the Sengoku maid cafe. The Sengoku area, that's where the battles took place in Japan, the battles over Japan and some kind of samurai themed maid cafe if you go a little bit more inside we have the heart heart maid cafe very cute traditional maid dresses very cute food and uh, famous people were actually here very famous actors this, this looks very promising we have the starlight novel maid cafe fancy and the mind escape maid cafe some kind of gothic lolita some kind of dungeon themed maid cafe looks very nice what do you think Matt too many all right guys this one was a success we got our first business cards from the samurai cafe as well as the hearts hearts cafe so hopefully we can uh, hit them up on the mail address and maybe cover the place in the future yeah there's this one place that Matt recommended the Shinobazu it's basically a ninja made cafe but unfortunately I said it has three floors but unfortunately it's closed today so you have to come back another day to find out more. Oh boy, that was quite a long day. It's already getting dark. We went to maybe more than 20 different maid cafes. I can tell you guys, there's a lot of maid cafes out there. Like many places you would not just, you can't just easily discover. Very hidden places. You really have to look in all the back alleys. I'm pretty sure we didn't find all of the maid cafes today, but we definitely went to a lot of them. And yeah. How was the result? I mean, we went to all of them. We were asking for coverage. Um, actually, most of them quite positive. There was just one place which said they don't accept any PR request because they want to make it a surprise for the clients, for the customers. I totally understand that, so that's cool. But um, some of them, they gave us the contact. Now they're waiting for our proposal and time frame for the shooting. 
some other ones, uh, they just got our contact, so we can just hope that they are going to get back to us. And otherwise, we'll try again. And yeah, just for you guys to know, I mean, there's really a lot of maid cafes. Um, do some research if you want to go some, uh, check out some reviews, but also sometimes good to have a surprise and go to a place that maybe nobody else would go to or you find interesting because of the team. Um, also, uh, to be worth mentioning is that they are maid cafes and they are girls bars, which are maid cafe themed. Uh, the difference is in a maid cafe, you usually go to pay a little fee, then pay for every drink and you can pay for special performances where in a girls bar you would pay an hourly fee of maybe like $20, $30 for an all you can drink menu and just chat with the girls. It's a little bit different and some of them can be made teams but nevertheless there's so many places to enjoy in Akihabara and hopefully we will can uh, present some made cafe reviews for you in the very near future. So hit the like button if you like this kind of documentary style videos we can make more of those and Stay subscribed and see you next time around Akiba.